Flanders Bouvier, French Bouvier de Flanders Bouvier de Flanders, is a herding dog from Flanders, a region located mainly in Belgium, but affecting France and the Netherlands. The Bouvier of Flanders was used as a shepherd and cattle dog during the drive of cattle to markets. Before the outbreak of the First World War, the breed was little known, but, after its end, it gained popularity as it took part in hostilities. Brief characteristics of the dog. Other possible names, Lomps Cohind, Bouvier de Flander, Flanders Cattle Dog, Bouvier de Ruler, Picard, Bullbard, Bollops. Adult height, 56 to 71 cm. Weight, 27 to 54 kg. Characteristic color, black, red, gray, brindle, white, more often black with red spots. Coat length, medium length, wavy. Life expectancy, 9 to 11 years. Advantages of the breed, loyal, intelligent, loves children, balanced, calm, obedient, does not bark over trifles. Difficulties of the breed, likes to dominate, not suitable for novice dog breeders, requires grooming. The history of the origin of the breed. The Bouvier of Flanders, like other breeds, which were not bred on purpose, has several versions of its origin. But they all boil down to the fact that the homeland of dogs is the medieval county of Flanders, which is located on the border of Belgium and France. Since it existed in the X 14th centuries, the version about the origin of the breed in the 12th century sounds more plausible. This happened thanks to the monks of the Abbey of Turduinen, who crossed Deerhounds and Irish Wolfhounds or Boserin. Subsequently, this mixture became the ancestor of many breeds. According to another version, Bouvier appeared in the 16th to 18th centuries and have the genes of Le Quinois, Briard, and Dutch long-haired shepherd dog. The official date in the history of the breed can be called 1894, when its first written description appeared by the Belgian professor Ariel. In 1910, Bouviers first took part in an exhibition in Brussels, and in 1912 their first standard was published, updated in 1923. During the First World War, some of the dogs were taken to Germany and subsequently took a direct part in the formation of the giant Schnauzer. The name Flanders Bouvier was assigned to the breed only in 1928. And in 1937, adjustments were made. At the same time, the French breeders insisted on the light color of the Bouvier, and the Belgian, on the contrary, wanted to see them only in black. Their disputes were interrupted by World War II, during which many large breed dogs died, since they were actively used as orderlies and to deliver weapons and food. Bouvier gained worldwide recognition in 1965 thanks to the International Federation of Sinologists, ICF. In 1969, the final standard was approved. Bouvier of Flanders is most popular in France, Holland and the Netherlands, as well as in Italy, England, Sweden, Spain, Denmark, and Germany. In other countries, it is little common or completely unknown. Description of the Flanders Bouvier breed. Representatives of the breed are strong, compactly built dogs. They have a short body covered with a hard coat. One glance is enough to understand that this is a strong animal, devoid of clumsiness. According to the standard, dogs are described as follows. The head is large, but proportional to the size of the dog, with a flat forehead, clear headlines emphasize the luxurious mustache and beard. An inconspicuous, frontal groove is located between the eyes. Due to the raised brow ridges, the transition from the frontal bone to the muzzle looks more distinct than it actually is. The eyes are oval, the iris is dark brown. The look is bold and resolute. The ears are set high, they are sensitive to any movement. The oracles can be docked by shaping them into small, pointed triangles. The muzzle of dogs is quite wide, well-filled, tapering towards the nose, with flat cheekbones and tight lips. The lobe is black, large, the nostrils are wide open. The mouth is equipped with a full set of strong, large, white teeth, the bite is correct, like scissors. The neck is strong, covered with muscles, it expands to the shoulders. If you look at the dog from the side, you will notice a graceful curve. The body is short, wide, well-knit, but not heavy. The ribsage is wide, drooping to the line of the elbows. The ribs are well sprung and long. The line of the abdomen is moderately tucked up. Extremities. The front legs are equipped with elbows close to the body and short, slightly sloping pasterns. Set straight, parallel to each other, strong skeleton. The hindquarters are strong, well-muscled, the thighs are broad and strong. The lower leg is of medium length, the metatarsus are shortened, there is a noticeable plumb line. The paws are rounded, the toes are long, curved, compressed into a tight lump. The pads are dense, the nails are hard, black pigmented. The tail is set high, smoothly into the line of the spinal column. They are cut short, only 2 to 3 vertebrae remain. The growth of males is 62 to 68 centimeters, females vary from 59 to 65 centimeters, the average is considered ideal. Shepherd dogs move freely and confidently. Character. The Bouvier of Flanders is similar to that of other working breeds, although they are calmer. 
These dogs are very fond of people, most are incredibly attached to their family. When kept in an aviary, they suffer a lot, they need to live in the house and be family members. Known for his loyalty, the Bouvier of Flanders follows his family everywhere, but this is also a problem, as he suffers greatly when separated. They rarely show their love, preferring to express emotions in moderation. But, even with those whom they adore, they remain dominant, and these dogs are not recommended for beginners. After the First World War, they were kept as bodyguards and military dogs, which contributed to the emergence of a very strong guard instinct. Suspicion of strangers is in their blood, and very few dogs are warm to strangers. They are not aggressive, but protective, and, with the right upbringing, are quite polite. Socialization is very important, as without it, they can be aggressive. Sensitive, they can be excellent watchmen, warning strangers with loud and frightening barks. The Bouvier of Flanders is a dog that protects its own and will always stand between danger and loved ones. They prefer to frighten the enemy rather than immediately attack and take threatening poses to drive him away. But, if you need to use force, then they do not hesitate and attack, no matter who opposes them. They have a good reputation in relation to children. Especially if the child grew up in front of the dog, then they are very kind and become best friends. Like other breeds, if the dog is unfamiliar with children at all, then the reaction can be unpredictable. But they are not friends with animals and dogs. Almost all of them are extremely dominant, do not retreat before the challenge. Aggression toward same-sex animals is especially strong, and both sexes are predisposed to it. Ideally, contain only one bouvier, maximum with the opposite sex. Socialization helps to reduce manifestations, but does not remove them. In addition, they are herding dogs, and they instinctively pinch the legs of those who disobey them. The attitude towards other animals is no better, they can attack and kill them. Some are able to live in domestic cats if they know them from childhood, some are not. Very smart and eager to please their master, the Bouviers of Flanders are superbly trained. They are able to perform in obedience and agility, learn everything in the world. They say that if a Bouvier remembers something, he never forgets. However, for many, training will be difficult. These dogs are very dominant and will not blindly obey orders. If they do not consider a person a leader, then you will not get obedience. This means that in a relationship, you always need to take a leadership position and training should begin as early as possible. Like other herding dogs, the Bouvier of Flanders needs high activity, daily stress. Without them, he will develop behavioral problems, destructiveness, hyperactivity. However, they are much less energetic than the same border collies and most of the townspeople are able to meet their requirements. The Bouvier de Flanders is an obedient dog with a pleasant nature. They look intimidating but are actually calm and gentle. They are enthusiastic, responsible, even-tempered, and fearless, and are excellent guard and watchdogs that are easy to train. This breed learns commands relatively fast. However, Bouviers get bored easily and learn best when repetition is limited. They require well-balanced training that remains consistent in nature. Without being harsh, it is important to consistently make the dog aware that the owner will remain the boss. This breed needs an experienced owner to prevent dominance and overprotectiveness problems. These dogs poorly trained can become inappropriately dominant towards humans. An unsocialized Bouvier can become fearful and pose a problem when introduced to new situations in which they do not feel comfortable. Bouviers should be socialized well, preferably starting at an early age to avoid shyness, suspiciousness, and being overly reserved with strangers, although the breed is naturally aloof with strangers. Protection of the family when danger is present is not something that needs to be taught, nor is it something one can train out of them. The dog will rise to the occasion if needed. A good family dog, the Bouvier likes and is excellent with children. The Bouvier is very adaptable and goes about its business quietly and calmly. Obedience training starts when they are young. Their behavior depends on the owner's ability to communicate what is expected and on the individual dominance level of the dog. They are usually good with other dogs if they are raised with them from puppyhood. Dominant individuals can be dog aggressive if the owners are not assertive and do not communicate to the dog that fighting is unwanted. Slow to mature both in body and mind, the Bouvier does not fully mature until the age of two to three years. Main Destination As you can see even from the photo, the Bouvier of Flanders is a large, powerful dog. She is strong and strong, knows how to be decisive and subordinate. Her character is balanced and calm. Thanks to all these features, the Bouvier is used before and now when catching criminals, as a guide dog, as a guard, protector and reliable bodyguard. The animal is ideal for those who want to have a reliable, strong, and fearless helper in the house. The animal lends itself well to training, gets along with children, does not require special care, and gets along well both in a country house and in an apartment. 
Bouvier of Flanders has a rather intimidating appearance, but at the same time his character is distinguished by balance and calmness. He is an ideal pet, cheerful, obedient, moderately playful. A dog will calmly treat other pets if it is properly socialized from childhood. These animals are very smart, have a stable psyche, fearless and strong. With the right training and education, you will get an excellent pet and at the same time a formidable guard. Maintenance and care. The Bouvier Flanders dog is unpretentious, eats relatively little, almost does not get sick, can live on the street even in cold weather. Care should be taken to concentrate on the coat. It is advisable to trim the Flanders Bouvier every six months. It is important to accustom your pet to this procedure from childhood, since an adult dog will not allow a stranger to come to it. During trimming, let's say a little grooming, but only to emphasize the dignity, to refine the beard, mustache and eyebrows. At home it is enough to comb the coat one to two times a week. Bouvier of Flanders usually does not have problems with eyes and ears, but their condition must be strictly controlled. Do not forget that you need to wipe your pet's beard and mustache after eating and drinking. You cannot follow how the dog drinks, but food particles stuck in the beard are guaranteed to lead to skin inflammation. Note. Very rarely, the representatives of the breed have abnormal eyelash growth, which can be overlooked under the lush eyebrows. The dog's eyes should be clear, shiny, without redness, otherwise, you need to see a doctor. Health. Bouvier puppies of Flanders take a long time to mature, one might say, mature. Like other large dogs, a pet can be considered an adult by the age of 2 to 3 years. The average life expectancy of representatives of the breed ranges from 10 to 12 years. Such a short period of time can confuse a potential pet, but giant breeds rarely live longer due to the severe stress on the skeleton and heart. Important. Males of Bouvier Flanders are allowed to breed at the age of 2 years, bitches from 3. By the way, due to their size, bitches in heat come once a year. Puppies gain weight very quickly, which poses certain risks of improper bone formation. These problems are solved by balanced feeding, vitamin supplements, strict control and moderate physical activity. With proper cultivation, the representatives of the breed hardly get sick and remain active until old age. Some dogs have age-related and hereditary joint dysplasia, heart defects, and arthritis. Raising a Bouvier Flanders Puppy You have a Bouvier Flanders Puppy. Where to start raising him? It's simple, for a start, wean the puppy from jumping to your feet and chewing on your things. This can be done very simply, toys will be weaned from puppy biting, but it is more difficult to wean off jumping. First of all, pretend that you ignore the dog. Do not look or talk to her when she jumps at you. The puppy will understand that this game is not interesting for you and will eventually stop bothering you. It is imperative to educate the Bouvier of Flanders. These are guard dogs, so if you do not educate and train her, you will end up with a large and completely uncontrollable dog. First, you need to train your pet to the place. Then be sure to go through a general training course with your dog. This is a must because the dog must be completely controllable. After you have mastered the general training course with your pet, you can proceed to special courses. These dogs make excellent guards and bodyguards. It is said that raising these dogs requires a firm hand and a suede glove. These dogs are fairly easy to train, but they have one unpleasant character trait. They tend to be slightly independent. Therefore, subordinating the dog to your will is the first task of upbringing. Food. Many breeders feed their pupils with dry food, they believe that a special ready-made food contains all the necessary nutrients, vitamins and trace elements, and is also well absorbed by the dog's body. If the food is of high quality, without chemicals, dyes and preservatives, no lower than the premium class, there will be no digestive difficulties in dogs. In addition, this type of feeding does not require additional vitamin and mineral supplements. The feeding regimen is important. At first, puppies need to be fed about 5 times a day, from 6 to 10 months, puppies are fed 4 to 3 times a day, from 10 to 12 months, 2 times a day. Starting from 1 year, the dog is transferred to a one-time meal. If you decide to feed your dog natural food, remember that it must be fresh, of high quality, and without chemical additives. The main product is meat. Fermented milk products, fish and offal are also useful. Don't forget about vegetables and fruits. You cannot feed your pet with sweets, pickled and smoked foods, semi-finished products, canned food, cereals, except for buckwheat, rice and oatmeal, potatoes, tubular bones. Food does not need flavor enhancement, it does not need to be salted or spiced, Training, training for training this dog, it is best to use the services of a professional dog handler. However, if you decide to educate your pet on your own, then you should remember a few rules for training these dogs. Bouvier of Flanders needs the firmness and confidence of the owner in their actions. The dog is easy to train, but sometimes stubborn. You must be persistent, patient and strict. Bouvier must understand who is the boss. 
otherwise, it will be quite difficult with him. If the dog is growing in an urban environment, provide it with great physical activity, as it is a working dog that needs mental and physical activity. Bouvier of Flanders is a shepherd, which means he needs a lot of time in the fresh air. Bouvier is a great friend who loves an active lifestyle in any weather. If you need a bodyguard or tracker, this dog is a good choice. With him you will not be afraid for your children and for yourself, because Bouvier will always be able to protect both you and yourself. Knitting from six to nine puppies, are born in the litter of Bouvier Flanders bitches. Pregnancy lasts 63 to 72 days. Signs appear in the third week. On days 21 to 22, on both sides of the dog's abdomen, with the help of fingers, you can find small hard round lumps, which can be felt up to 35 days. With the onset of the fifth week, the female mammary glands enlarge, at the sixth, the belly. A few days before giving birth, he goes down. A pregnant dog needs a lot of protein. During the first month, the bitch is fed as usual. Further, her diet is based on meat, dairy products, eggs, fish. The amount of food is doubled. Important. The bitch must not be overfeed. If she gains extra weight, it will complicate labor. When feeding with commercial formulations, transfer the bitch to a special maternity formula. In the first half of puberty, there is no need to change the walking regime. Then, as the belly grows, the dog itself will refuse to walk for a long time. The bitch should not go up and down stairs or make sudden movements. Don't let her sit on the cold floor. You need to take care of the place for delivery in advance. Prepare for this purpose a box corresponding to the size of the dog, a box for puppies, diapers, heating pad, thread, scissors, disinfectant. With the onset of the last days of pregnancy, do not leave the bitch unattended. Before childbirth approaches, she becomes restless, whines, scrapes the floor, tears the bedding, refuses food, turns in one place. The dog's body temperature drops to 36.537. She has mucus discharge. At the same time, the bitch assumes a lying position, presses her back against a box, and rests her paws against the wall. The first puppy is often the largest, so its birth is more difficult than the appearance of the rest of the cubs. They usually come out head first and back up. The puppy appears in the amniotic membrane that needs to be torn off. Then you should take the baby out and cut the umbilical cord at a distance of 2 to 3 centimeters. But if the dog wants to do it on its own, do not interfere with it. If bleeding occurs, retighten the umbilical cord with the thread. Wipe the puppy with a tissue and place it next to the bitch. She will begin to lick the baby, which will help stimulate his blood circulation and breathing. After the puppy appears, the placenta is expelled. If the afterbirth does not come out, you must contact the veterinarian, otherwise the dog will die. The bitch also needs medical attention if the interval between puppies is more than two hours. Typical diseases. Dysplasia of the hip joints and volvulus are common diseases in Bouviers of Flanders. But they early have health problems, this is a fairly healthy and hardy breed. Vaccination will help protect your pet from infectious diseases. Timely vaccinations allow you to avoid the occurrence of rabies, parvovirus enteritis, plague of carnivores, parinfluenza, Lyme disease, leptospirosis, coronavirus. So, the Bouvier of Flanders is a very interesting and rare dog in our area. Moreover, puppies of this breed of dogs are not very expensive average price, from 400 US dollars. Apparently this is due to the unpopularity of the breed. These dogs are very loyal and easy to train. These dogs are suitable for people who do not lead a sedentary lifestyle and who have a large family. Dogs of the Flanders Bouvier breed simply adore companionship. 